At Boulder, we like to learn from our mistakes and today we want to talk about mistakes that we made and that actually open us the door to a long-term and very successful cooperation. Uh, my name is Isa Faber and I have spoken to Alan Wilson, one of our clients. Okay, hi Alan, how are you today? How was your trip? It was good, thank you. Okay, great. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? What do you do? What team alert is? What kind of customers do you have possibly? And what do you do for them? Sure, sure. I'm the CEO of Team Alert, I'm Alan Wilson. Uh, Team Alert is a cloud-based workplace panic button system that allows organizations to help staff members that feel alone during um, uh, security crises and instead allows them to feel connected, protected, and safe. We work with organizations of all types, um, including local government, um, education, mental health, and religion with easy to use hardware and software options. Great, and Olena. Olena is a Boulder employee and she works as a delivery lead. Um, and Olena, I would like to ask you to tell a little about who's delivery lead actually <laughs> and what do you do on a daily basis? Sure, of course, uh, as a delivery lead, uh, I'm accountable for my clients' uh, success management. Uh, what it means that I'm leading the teams uh, towards the goals from the beginning, from the uh, strategy to the delivery. So at the end, clients is receiving the best product possible. Uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Okay. And with regards to uh, Team Alert, could you tell us the story about Team Alert? What have we done for Team Alert so far? Yeah, of course. I think we are we have pretty long story actually. A few good years of cooperation. It started way before me even uh, joining uh, when Team Alert came to Boulder with a product, and uh, it was audited. And there were some workshops to define what the phase of the development of the product, and some goals were uh, set up back then. What to work on what to develop uh, after some time of the development uh, team alert was working and serving the clients in this moment we were in the maintenance phase and then uh, alan came back with the new features and ideas we want to implement so this this was the moment i joined so we get back from the maintenance phase to the again development new features and making this product even more stable and better and improving it in terms of the users Okay, but we're here to talk about our mistakes. <laughs> so I want you to tell me, how do you think? What was our biggest mistake that we, you know, did in this cooperation? Sure. Uh, the biggest mistake and challenge for us when I joined were uh, the estimations of work to be done. Uh, Alan came with some uh, needs uh, which we had to implement and uh, think through. And then we gave some estimations and of time and a budgeting, of course. And when we get to the development, we realized that, oh my God, we are like crossing the timeline and the budget at some point and we are not delivering the value we promised that we will. So in that moment, we had to like stop reflect a little bit and think what did we do wrong and get to the point where we can be a reliable partner for the client so he can count on us that we will do the estimation and it will be more or less like that uh, yeah so that was the biggest mistake we were dealing with and looking for all different types of solutions to get to the good point yeah to be more predictable okay crossing the budget doesn't sound good <laughs> so wouldn't just be easier to give up and just you know say to Alan that, you know, we have burned the budget and we don't want to make any more investment. Probably, <laughs> I think for some companies, but I think not Boulder. Uh, it's, I think it wasn't even an option for us when I came internally to like other people to ask for help like and brainstorm what can we do with this issue we are dealing with it was not even on the table you know we were so looking for the solution so at the end we decided okay if we did mistake we have to invest from our side add more people you know do all the moves we need to to get to the goal we had together with the client just to to get there because this is our main goal to to do we just we don't want just to send the invoice and get the money on the bank account we want to reach the goals of our clients first of all this is what is most important for us. 
yeah. Well, that sounds really good. Uh, but Alan, could you tell from your perspective as a client, um, how did it look like? Did you actually feel uh, that you were taken care of in a, such a good manner? Yes, yes. From our side of things, it's not uncommon to run into a problem with a vendor. And the really nice thing of working with Bold Air was um, the fact that um, Bold Air took ownership that there was a problem and acknowledged it and came with the solution, which was really nice. And so we were able to quickly kind of move past the problem initially and then just kind of move to what we were going to do about the problem. And Bold Air came with a really good solution and we were able to, to focus on that and get to a, a good outcome quickly. Mm, okay. And Olena, could you tell specifically what did we actually do uh, to make sure that we will, you know, achieve the goal and we will, you know, overcome the obstacles? Yeah, of course. Uh, we, when I joined the team, uh, we get uh, very good use of the uh, service standards framework in Boulder uh, because we have like 20 years of experience. So we have some know-how and tools to use to get to the uh, better place and solve the issues. So we implemented a lot of artifacts and new roles into into the team of Team Alert. One of the roles is a delivery lead, actually, uh, which has a specific field of ownership on the problem, for example, mm -hmm. or looking for the solutions. Uh, also, we implemented the role of the tech lead, uh, which took the ownership over the technical part of the app. Uh, yeah, and uh, beside that, we also implement like small tools and artifacts, but which were like really significantly changing the reality, like delivery plan, which helped us to keep a very good track. Are we on track or not? Uh, like service design as well, uh, analyzing the clients' needs and basing our all action based on this need only uh, or like even simple tools like meeting matrix which is defining you which meetings you should have in this particular team with this particular client to have a good check-ins and check the progress and you know do the iterations and uh, yeah and keep track of it as well so yeah okay and how do you think what uh, have we learned uh, from this whole situation as a company as a boulder I think that very strong lessons learned for us uh, is being humble if even after so many years of experience and really good experts on board uh, we still saw that we have to sit and really work on the problem and don't think we know everything you know because there still are issues which are new which are complicated and you have just to be being humble as I said very important just okay we did this wrong so how we can do it better not thinking yeah that we are the best in the world so taking the new practices getting the new knowledge looking for new solutions because the world is changing as well around us so i think this is the first thing and another one it showed us also how important the human relationship is because we opened up to, to alan and said honestly yes we did the mistake it's like we are really sorry but we want to fix it but and i think after that our bond was even stronger because alan saw that he can count on us that we will not be pretending that nothing wrong is happening so yeah, it was really also nice discovery how strong the cooperation might be after these difficult times if you if you do it right and if you put like all effort into it well, that sounds really good. And I think that it is actually uh, within our culture just, you know, to learn from mistake, uh, bravely share this practice. And also it gives us this approach that, you know, there's nothing wrong with making mistakes. Of course, as long as you learn from them and you can bring as much value as possible to your customers. Uh, but Alan, today, how is Team Alert looking at the moment? Uh, what are your plans? Uh, for development or for any, you know, future? Yeah, yeah, um, doing really good. We were able to get the features completed that we were you know, having a hard time with. Um, we were able to get those rolled out to customers. We've had positive feedback. Um, and now we're kind of to the phase of interacting with the customers to see how we can improve um, probably uh, the user interface portion of it a little bit better um, and so it's exciting and nice to work on that phase of the product and so we were able to overcome those hurdles and move on which has been really nice okay great um, thank you very much both of you for this conversation today i, I think it was very um, thoughtful and meaningful and uh, 
I wish you long, <laughs> non-problematic and very fruitful cooperation for the future. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.